Hello everyone, this is Alcabea the Analyst, and today I'll be talking Marlon. Let me just call him Marlon T, man. I, I do not want to mess up this guy last name. He's my guy. But this is Alcabea the Analyst. Um got this video, salute to Eagle Zone, and um so y'all wanted my reaction to this. So um I'm gonna get my reaction to this uh quick feet. He looked pretty quick. Um not a big fan of the caption, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, gorillas don't run in packs. When you look at the Eagles' defensive line, um, maybe I'm overanalyzing it. We have a pack. But all in all, um, in all seriousness, so after seeing a video yesterday, I looked at a couple of his game tapes and looked at his game a bit. And not just highlights his game tape. So what I seen from him, and I looked up the experts and see if they seen the same thing. Quick guy could put him at defensive tackle, defensive end, basically what they call it, the three technique. He, he can do all that. He's quick, versatile. He got that down packed. The only thing is, if you watch a full game of him, around in the third, fourth quarter, he start looking tired. It's like he, he really can't play a full game. And that's okay, especially with the defensive line that we have. We could rotate him a lot more than what they did in college at USC. So um, that's not bad. He's undersized a bit. It's nothing he can do about that. He's, he's a bit small to be a defensive tackle. So I believe probably the Eagles won't put him at defensive end most of the time. And also he struggles a bit with uh the past defense so that those are his flaws which i believe which can be fixed like his past defense getting to the quarterback he can get better at but he's really good against the run conditioning he, he could get that down pack we can rotate him a lot more than once again what they did in usc so it's not like his big problems like he really needs to get that down packed but that stuff he definitely can i, I don't really see him right now being just that guy that's on the field most of the times. So, um, I see more Milton Williams, especially the place he was drafted, of being that type of guy. But Marlon can play. Um, a lot of people have been telling me that. So I just checked out his game, seen a clip of him do doing the workout. So I was going to react to the clip, plus watch some of his tape. And he looked pretty good. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think how we got a steal. I also seen that the Cowboys were scouting him. It, I think it surprised the Cowboys we took him because Cowboys really wanted him. So um, Marlon T, I think he's a steal, man. I think he's one of those steals in the draft. And um, we, I'm telling you, watch this guy progress in the future. Like the little stuff that's that's a little problematic, he will get under control. So, um, yeah, I, I think a lot of fans got this right. I know a lot of fans was hyping him up. I didn't get the hype at first. I'm not going to lie about that. But then when I start watching them and watching them and watching them, I'm like, this kid can play. He can play. And I, I actually needed to see for myself. I, I'm not a big college guy. I'm not watching every college game. So I had to see for myself and he can play. Nice workout video, man. Um, salute to you. Um and welcome to the Philadelphia Eagles. If I didn't say it, welcome to the Philadelphia Eagles. I think he is the future. He will be a stud in this league. Um, that upside that he has is really, really great. And once again, just the little stuff, the pass defense. Fletcher Cox struggle with pass defense to this day to me. He, he's not the best pass defensive guy, but that run defense is pretty stout. So I believe he gets that down packed. But what do you think and how do you feel about Marlon T, man? Is he our future? Will he ball out for us? I mean, I'm telling you, this dude could get skinny, man. Watch his game tape. I highly recommend it. But this is Al Cabrera, the analyst. Ghost.